All right, Pisces. So let's do a what's the tea reading. Um, today is April 17th, 2023. Let's see what messages we have for the Piscean Collective from the what's the tea. And we'll clarify. All right, so we're gonna be pulling five cards. Let's see what messages we have. Okay, going into the week. Today is Monday. All right, what's the key for Pisces? What is the key for Pisces? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. So we have dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, and protected by haters. Okay, so some of you guys may be 007 it. All right, dodging some type of a bullet. All right, what else for Pisces? Uh, the reading I just did prior to this, this I was going to go and finish your guys' uh, Pisces zone with the other signs. But um, after that last reading, I felt, you know, ain't shit just came out, lonely, cock walking. So some of you guys are, I feel like, dodging a bullet. I don't know who's lonely. Pisces, you may be lonely. Someone else may be lonely. That could be why someone's cock blocking, trying to give you some type of a dirty offer. All right. And child services. At risk of being taken or is about to reporting something like neglect or abuse. Okay. So we have child services coming out. We have dirty offer, cock blocking, and lonely so let's break this down and see what's going on um all right show me dodging bullets for pisces why is it showing up for pisces this week you don't normally get this card so um definitely a shift in energy So the Sun card, Leo, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, dodging a bullet. Okay, so and Six of Wands. Wow. So this is a very successful, abundant energy, earthly energy, groundedness, mature, grounded, feminine energy. There is some type of prosperity or success, abundance, um, freedom, freedom. <laughs> Again, with the Six of uh, Swords coming out. Freedom. You are now free to move out of the country. I'll be right back. All right. I've seen a rabbit run by in the wrong direction. So, all right. Um, catch my breath. Queen of Pentacles. So, in the Sun card, there is some type of happiness. Um... Dodging bullets, so choosing to protect your peace. The sun card and the six of wands, something here is definitely being illuminated or being brought to the light or being exposed, publicized. There is some type of major success here as well. With the Six of Swords, I feel like you're being guided towards calmer waters. Maybe moving away from or blocking out some type of negativity. Okay. You're being guided here with the Six of Swords. You may be someone who's also in the spotlight. This Queen of Pentacles can be, you know, somewhat of a healer. A good, a good mother, a good parent, a good spouse, someone who's loyal, dedicated, committed. Very grounded, earth-like energy. A lot of happiness and joy. Success, recognition, but I feel like you're being guided away from a situation, Pisces. Show me lonely. I'm so lonely. I have nobody. Oh. All right. So the chariot, Ken City and Anna G. Lonely. Why is lonely here for Pisces? 
King of Cups and the Judgment, Scorpio. Lonely at the top. Okay, let's just see. Eight of Swords and King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys are receiving some type of an opportunity to travel. Or there's a new job or a blessing, a gift from the divine coming in, but you may need to travel. The chariot talks about determin determination, willpower, you know, overcoming some type of obstacles with ambition. The six of cups and the five of pentacles, nine of pentacles. So someone here is very independent, stable, self-sufficient. I don't see love here. I mean, the six of cups, maybe you're missing someone from the past um, who may have abandoned you or you, or you abandoned this person. Um, nine of pentacles so with this independence you got that nine of pentacles ace of pentacles that's ten of pentacles some of you guys are building a legacy building a foundation there could be a cancer coming in with some type of an offer for you as well i don't know if this is someone from your past who you've left out in the cold or or you're letting go of um uh, hmm going to say five of or okay i'm just trying to see this in all different ways for you guys um i got a bunny hair stuck on my mouth um yeah i can see this in so many ways there's a whole lot of pentacles here, so I don't know if you're feeling lonely, Pisces. Flip the rolls. This could be the cross watcher. I don't know. But someone here is feeling lonely, maybe feeling abandoned. Maybe someone's having some type of financial issues of financial struggles. Now, the five of this could be someone from your past or someone you share children with. Or you may be missing someone from the past who abandoned you and left you out in the cold. Or somebody who you've let go of because of some type of negative behavior. You felt like you weren't getting what you want. You feel like you're better off by yourself. Okay. You may be feeling lonely, but you are independent, stable, secure. There is some type of an offer coming in here, maybe an opportunity to travel. This could be a new car, a new job, a pay raise, okay? Something that I feel like, or you, you know, whoever this is, this is like, you may have all these pentacles around you, but you could be lonely. All right, like maybe you don't have love in your life and that could be causing you to feel nostalgic or revisit the past or a situation that made you feel depleted, Nine or five of pentacles, okay? So don't do, um, I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but um, make sure you're, I don't know how to say it. Um, Make sure you're not entertaining something because you're lonely. All right. Make sure you're not entertaining shit that's going to deplete you financially, uh, make you feel depleted or make you fee be in this negative low vibrational energy because you feel lonely. So don't entertain something that you know you shouldn't because I feel like you have a lot of success coming towards you. The chariot is fast forward movement towards a new beginning. A new financial opportunity. Show me cock blocking. <laughs> Show me cock blocking. Yeah, someone may be coming in with a dirty offer. Justice card. We got Libra coming out. That's what I said. 16 times 7. Show me cock blocking. Eight of swords, nine of swords, 
someone's like extremely worried, feeling stuck, trapped and bound, feeling like their hands are tied, having some type of fear and anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, anxiety, night terrors, four pentacles. You may have someone who's greedy. There could also be a message of good news coming in, maybe from a Libra or the legal or justice system. You may also have someone who's holding on to your money, being greedy, stingy, trying to hold on to you. You may be planning on taking legal action. Let me cross bumping. Or this could be someone else doing this. Someone who's trying to hold on to you, maybe planning on taking some type of action towards you. Four of swords in the world. Devil and two of swords. Someone's trying to keep you like blindsided, stuck, trapped, and bound. Is this someone who has rose-colored glasses on Capricorn energy? <laughs> this is also someone who's who's possibly connected, like someone who has divided loyalty, someone who's giving, yeah, thank you, Spirit. The Three of Swords. <sighs> Two of Swords can talk about divided loyalties, okay? The devil can be anything that's toxic and binding. Two of Swords may be like, oh, someone has a choice between two. But they're refusing to make a choice or a decision because it could be a difficult decision. I don't know. And someone may be feeling stuck, trapped, and bound or trying to keep you stuck, trapped, and bound. But refusing to make a choice or a decision over you. Okay? Keeping you stuck in some type of third-party energy. The world card, the four of swords. You may be putting something to rest. Okay? Deciding to end some type of cycle here. With the world, start something new. Someone here may also be receiving a message that something here is ending, something is over with, something may be happening through some type of a court decision or some type of action here. Someone's been holding on to something and they have a lot of fear, stress, and worries about this. Somebody's straight up controlling, possessive. On the other side, if this isn't some type of legalities, this is just someone who's coming in as a page Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, coming in, you know, exciting, outgoing, fun, enthusiastic, um, playful, coming in to, to give some type of fairness, maybe wanting to heal a situation, but this is someone who's been holding on to you, holding back from you, holding back from you to hold on to you. And this may be someone you've already ended a cycle with or started something new. Or this person's worried about you ending something and starting something new. All right. Show me dirty offer. Four of swords again. It will wake me up, 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 up. The page of wands are freaking in. And the eight of wands, yeah. Who is this little page of wands person? This person's like sleep. Wanting to come in and offer you something, take some type of action. There may be a lot of messages going back and forth. It could be pas passionate messages as well. 
with the Page of Wands. The Emperor. Oh, wow. Aries energy. Pretty often. Queen of Cups. There you go. Possibly. One more face. offer one more thank you one more actually please So seven of pentacles, three of pentacles, that's ten pentacles. And then with the emperor here, it's like someone's building an empire. That's building, building, making good investments, planting seeds, hard work coming into fruition. Dirty offer. I don't know if this Emperor is coming into you or this Queen of Cups is coming towards you. I don't know if you're the Emperor or the Queen of Cups or even if you are this person. Because you do have the Three of Pentacles here. So there could be more than two people. Dirty offer. There goes that divided loyalty again. Riding the fence. The choice between two. Someone may also be refusing to work together with someone. One more on the side of this. That hermit again. And King of Cups. Scorpio Virgo. We have the hermit here and the hermit here. So Virgo energy is strong. This could be someone who's older, wise beyond their years, very nurturing, compassionate, loving. This could be a father figure. Oh, Pisces. I don't know if you're the woman or the fit or the man or the woman or what or what, but some of you guys could be like ghosting a soulmate connection. Because someone refuses to work with you, work together. And someone may be fearing that an emperor is going to come in or an empress. If so, that's going to grow. <laughs> and look at me rhyming. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Some of you guys could be ghosting a soulmate. Like this could very well be a soulmate. There could be a lot of love. Um... Or you could be doing some self-reflecting or someone else's. Some soul searching, trying to gain some type of enlightenment. Because I asked who was on the other side of this two of swords. And I got the king of cups and the hermit. The king of cups and the hermit is like typically like a counselor, somebody who's very wise. Um... Very loving, nurturing. Could be someone who's older. Any of this could apply. Um, some of you guys, this could be like working together with your boss. Dirty offer. What in the hell? If 
For some of you guys, this could even be somebody who's like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. For some of you guys, this could be a work situation. Someone may not be seeing something clearly, though. Someone could be ignoring a third party or ignoring their boss or ignoring a father figure, an emperor, CEO. This could be someone that you co-parent with. I don't necessarily see a child here, but the king and queen of cups sometimes it could be mother and father. Show me child services. Kids at risk of being taken. I was about to reporting something like neglect, abuse, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So there could be a message coming in with this Knight of Cups. This is typically a good message, some type of an invitation or a loving well, Ace of Wands. Hair font. This could be a message coming in from like a government organization. Ace of Wands wanted to show itself in the reverse. So there could be a missed opportunity here. Someone may be not seeing something clearly and deciding to move away from a situation. Or someone's being guided to ignore something and let the opportunity pass. I don't know. Child services. So some type of an illusion has been shattered, Four of Cups and Six of Pentacles. So there is a missed opportunity here, some type of rejection. Someone was looking at other options, refusing what was being offered. The illusion has been shattered. There's some type of a reality check here. Um, the Six of Coins talks about some type of generosity. Oh, so like I was saying, kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something like neglect. That could be this planning to take legal action towards someone who's just holding on to you. This could be someone who's clock blocking, trying to keep you from, yeah, from starting over, from ending something and starting over. The Knight of Cups is a message of good news. The hair font is, you know, some type of authority coming in. God overseeing a situation, the higher authorities or the higher archy or whatever it is, is overseeing a situation and making like a fair and just decision here with the judgment or the justice and the hair font. There is some type of reality check about some, you know, Four of Cups can talk about neglect, too. Somebody breadcrumbing somebody. Refusing to give. Someone may have some type of regrets. And the devil. Well, so the devil has the last card. So someone here does have some type of like toxic attachments here. Or someone's trying to hold on to someone, possess somebody, control somebody. I feel like what's what's um, what's fair and right will be seen. So you know whatever side of this you're on. You know if you've been doing some bougie shit, then just know there will be a fair and just decision that's made. If if 
you haven't been and someone's been doing some bougie shit to you, then just know that a fair and just decision is going to be made. Okay? I'm not here to pick sides. I do feel like you're you're dodging some type of a bullet or escaping some type of You're being guided, Pisces. You need to pay attention. Don't go back to something out of like uh, feeling like the Six of Cups can talk about nostalgia, you know, like thinking about the good times, reminiscing about the good times. But then something here, Five of Pentacles, it's like something makes you feel depleted or abandoned or left out in the cold or, and you start having these negative thoughts, you know, maybe of nostalgia or start having, I don't know what the hell this is. You have a lot to look forward to. I don't know if you're lonely or what. I mean, shit, we all get lonely sometimes, but I don't know. What's this King of Cups doing? What's the Queen of Cups doing? What's the Emperor doing? What is, oh. Four of Pentacles is the King of Cups. The Emperor is the Devil. Controlling as fuck. The Queen of Cups is the Eight of Wands. So someone may be, I don't know how or who you are, Pisces, and Seven of Swords. If someone's trying to come in with some type of a dirty offer, lying, cheating, scheming, trying to control somebody, buying somebody, overpower somebody. Maybe by taking some type of passionate action towards the Queen of Cups. Someone who's very loving, self-sacrificing, nurturing. What a scumbag. With some type of a dirty offer. I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, let's get three cards. And then I'll leave it here. Alright. What else, Pisces? What else for Pisces spirit? Uh, addiction. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. What was I saying? Someone here is like obsessed with possessing somebody. This could be like a runner chase or dynamic. Okay, you guys could be meeting someone new. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. I just looked at the bottom of the deck. What was I saying? The runner and the chaser. I seen the chaser. And so I was like, it could be a runner chaser dynamic and runner was on the bottom of the deck. Ain't that some shit? With heart with the key, you could be welcoming love, meeting somebody new, Pisces. So... Dodge this bullet. Okay, someone's just trying to cock block. They're trying to stop you. They're trying to play on your loneliness. It's okay to be lonely sometimes. Single cards, please, spirit. Clock. Need time, end time. Takes time, cycles, time to heal and progress. Okay, so something here may be happening and, you know, may need more time or cycles. Photograph. Looking, looking at your photos, missing your nostalgia and make new memories. So, yeah, we did say something about that. Someone maybe, you know, in hand of cards, taking a chance. Oh, that was two cards. I'm not taking that. One card, please. Thank you. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. And that's this inside scoop. And then you got the runner here again. Okay. At closer look, nosy all up in your business. So you got someone all up in your business. Okay. Watching you, looking at your photos, maybe online or through social media or some. Because here with this, you may be in the public eye. Okay, six of wands. But you're being guided to like transition or move away from a situation. Towards your happiness. Maybe move somewhere where it's warm. Pisces, I don't know. You 
you're being recognized for your loyalty, for your optimism. I feel like you're an inspiration to people. You could be a healer with the sun card. The sun heals things, right? The uh, queen of pentacles is a healer. So you're being guided to dodge some type of a bullet here. Maybe this is what you needed to hear. I don't know. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. Smash that thumbs up if it did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.